Welcome to Massive. You're watching our walkthrough on God of War Ascension, and we're in the eyes of Apollo. This is a definite puzzle area. Hopefully you like puzzles. Anyway, we're going to try to help you guys out with this puzzle, if we possibly can. I'm going to figure out myself, though. Okay, can't jump up there. We can jump on top of this purple slab. Whatever good that does is... Oh. I think we, uh... Oh, we can push it off. I see. And that weight then lifts up the... Purple slab. And we have to line those up with the eyes. Oh, fuck. We got a battle. We've rebuilt the statue almost completely. And... It's time to activate the eyes. I'm not very good at puzzles, it seems, lately, but I'm going to give this my best shot. It looks like uh, we're supposed to get this block in the middle of the room and just lower it a little bit so the beam can shoot through the two eyes. Now, that one beam that goes through this portal over here, uh, that splits in two once it hits the block. So, we have to figure... Oh, here's a lever over here. That lowers the beam, okay, into where it should be. Got a ladder up there. So now all we need to do is find a way to lower the block. Which, it looks like this is able to keep it in place. We use your... No, we can't use the amulet of Euroboros just yet. But maybe we can out here. Pull this all the way out, and... Oh, it, ju it just goes right back into place. Can't really... No, I can't jump to it. Maybe I can use... Oh, wait, what's this? No, that's not... That's nothing. Maybe we can use this somehow, this uh, big quartz block, to jump where we need to go. Looking at this room, that, oh wait, there's not many ways we can go, but we can go over here if we use the quartz block, which we certainly will. The beam does not kill us. We have a red chest. Look at those huge eyes. It's kind of creepy in here. It's like we're in his brain. We have our white chest. I bet that's a phoenix. No, nope, it's a Gorgon Eye. Thought it was a phoenix feather. Okay, I think I've got this stuff figured out. So, take your oat stone, place him down there where it's basically timed, and jump back and run! Run back to the chains where you can pull the catcher. And, uh, let's see if we can do this, if I'm right. So, we hold R1, and once you see Doppelganger Kratos coming close. You start uh, moving the catcher out. Oh, he's close. Let's do it. See if my theory is correct. Nice. Looks like it is. <laughs> awesome. I love logic. And the eyes of Apollo shine into the lantern. And that does... Nothing so far. Nothing that I can see anyway. Well, that was a nifty, tiny little puzzle. And as that ladder lowers, we're gonna go run and get our health chest. If I can actually get there. There we go. It's a tricky little puzzle, but <laughs> once it makes sense, you won't know how you didn't see it before. Damn it, Kratos. Fuck! I can, I can solve any puzzle in the game, but I can't get that bastard to climb ladders properly. Okay. Damn, that's a long ladder. 
I wonder if we're out of the, uh, the eyes of Apollo just yet. Or if there's more stuff we need to do in here. Probably is more. Oh! Ah, he made it. I wouldn't have been able to make that in a million years. I wonder if this is a hidden loading screen. You know, all this ladder climbing, kind of like Mass Effect. No, oh, I. It's a hidden loading screen to a cutscene. Damn, these graphics are amazing. The sense of scale is incredible too. Is it one of the what are they called? Hydralisk dragons? The fuck it. I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty fucking cool. Manticore! That's what it's called. Is that Kratos really knows how to pilot those things? You just stab it and it turns in the direction in <laughs> which you stab it. But we're in the lantern now. It kinda reminds me of uh, Thor. The cool movie, that that big room. It's able to send you anywhere. Shit. Damn it, Kratos. For every manticore heart broken, I have to fight one. You can't just ugh, pilot these things and expect no retribution. Or expect them not to expect retribution. It's kind of unique, though, this battle. Because his arms cut off. So it's very different from a different battle that you might have. Alright, let's use some magic up in here. Slap him apart with our slap hands from Hades. You know, I'm gonna switch to Zeus's lightning. I'm just so much better with it. At least usually I am. This guy is just fucking hard no matter what. Yo, oh, shit, fuck you, don't you dare! Oh, you bitch. You little bitch. Look at that. Go, go, jump, Kratos, there we go. And break down. Oh, these combos really remind me of DMC. But that's not a bad thing. So when I say DMC, I mean Devil May Cry 4. Uh, you can't abbreviate the series anymore without someone thinking that you're referring to the, uh, reboot. Fuck, I waited too long, now we got the little magical babies to contend with. Well, at least he's ready for execution. Come on, Kratos, we can do this shit. And, what do I have to do? Tell me what. Oh, I got to stab. That's right. I gotta watch out for a scorpion tail. Yeah. Goes. Trying to clip my head off. Oh shit. I told him to dodge. Oh, he did dodge. Okay, never mind. Now we just got his babies. Let's walk on them. I, I find that the little guys sometimes are far more annoying than the big guys. I don't know if it's just because there's usually more of them and they're harder to hit. Easier to from the dodge man attacks or what, but at least they're dead now. Alright, so what's the game plan? What do, what do we gotta do here? 